Now, how come in all these ball pictures, man, you can see all the continents pretty much, and there's just a little bit of clouds here and there. Man, it's like some of these pictures, like there's some where they show the Earth at night, and you can see all the lights and stuff. It's like, you're telling me the entire continent didn't have clouds? The entire <laughs> fucking continent? Like, you can see Africa and all these lights and all this stuff. Like, you know, if you turn on your porch light, I guess you can see it from space, apparently. And it's like there's no clouds in some of these pictures. And they spelled out the word sex, right, recently, probably a few months ago, in one of the clouds. But, you know, if they do their research, they say, well, those are composites. And I said, well, how come they copy and paste the clouds on some of these? And they use the same cloud form. Like, if you're going to make a composite, make a composite, but you shouldn't be copy and pasting clouds. That means you're, you're adding stuff that's not real. Yeah, and the thing is, those pictures that you're talking about, the blue marble pictures, you know, I think there's about maybe eight to ten of them over time that uh, NASA has put out, and you're absolutely right. None of those pictures look the same. The color of the water is different. Like you said, the continents are different sizes. It's just unbelievable. And I think what happened originally was they would put these things out and nobody was paying any attention to it, you know? And then all of a sudden now, people are paying attention to it, and now they're pulling these pictures, and... It's an obvious fraud. What? And the thing is, there's supposedly tens of thousands of satellites orbiting Earth. We can't get any close-ups of Earth. We can't get a view of Australia with the buildings upside down. And they'll look at you like you're crazy. <laughs> but really, you are the sane one for asking real questions. <laughs> idiots for just repeating school book bullshit. That's how it works. I was taught school book bullshit in public school and somehow I was able to break free and free my mind. You know how I did it? I watched NASA rockets explode a bunch of times. fly off sideways and not go to space. If you watch the trajectory of the space shuttle, it doesn't go straight up. It always goes in a curve and out to sea. The point is, they actually go horizontal. The space shuttle goes horizontal. It never goes any further up. It goes horizontal, um, very, very low down in the... In in the atmosphere, you know, it's it's still in the atmosphere while it's uh, horizontal, so it never gets any higher, and it goes out of sight. Not because it goes too high, because it goes too far downrange. And they have a, a plane that's mocked up to look like a space shuttle, uh, that's uh, it's a jet-powered aircraft. That's it. It's not a glider. It's it's an aircraft, um, and that's what they're fooling us. Uh, taking billions of dollars in and giving us images and, uh, and, and fake planes um, for that 10 billion, you know, however many billions of dollars it is. What goes up must come down. Um, and literally, we have not ever seen anything that um, has ever gone up and not come down. One thing I really want your generation to embrace 
is that the Earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the Earth. There's no place to go. Rockets don't have brakes. It's, it literally stopped. All of that angular momentum from the, from the rotation of the rocket and the linear momentum from flying up just stopped. No, it had to, it's, 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 what would it hit? If it hit a solid surface, the rocket would have been destroyed. And most likely the camera too, so we wouldn't have the footage. And obviously that's not the case. It's a long fly ball going back, back, and the ball shatters the sky, bringing the ocean itself down into the stadium. Oh, Simpson just broke this dream's reality wide open. I know we have still not shattered that highest and hardest glass ceiling. Someday, someone will, and hopefully sooner than we might think right now. There's no place to go. Although we weren't able to shatter that highest, hardest glass ceiling this time, thanks to you, it's got about 18 million tracks in it. And it may be hard to see tonight, but we are all standing under a glass ceiling right now. People figured out that we were an enclosed system. The more advanced we got, it would be the biggest thought on our minds. That's all we care about. You could make a wildlife preserve a thousand miles square. All people, you know, all human beings would do is just be knocking on the fence constantly, going, why is this fence here? Who built the fence? Why are we in here? And so on and so on.